Tonight I'm going to make chicken fajitas and I will, it's not my recipe, so I will link the recipe down below in the description box, but this is a really good recipe and I probably deviate from it. It probably calls for so many bell peppers, and, but now I just kind of wing it, so, but I will show you what I do. So I'm going to put one green bell pepper and one orange bell pepper and then I will cut up some chicken and thin, sli thin slices and then I bake it for about an hour. So DC your bell peppers and then I cut them in slices as well. And then an orange. You can use orange or red or all green. I just kind of like the color and the different taste that the bell peppers give. Sometimes I use red ones. I'm just going to put the plate after I slice them up. And it's a real easy recipe. Um, slicing is probably the hard part and mixing all the ingredients for the spices. And that's what I like about this recipe because it uses real spices. There's not any preservatives. And I buy good chicken, chicken um, with no antibiotics. So I really like this. Sometimes I eat the meat without the, the flour tortilla because the worst part of this um, recipe is that I make a fajita burrito out of it so I do use the flour tortillas and so that's probably the worst part of this recipe of course they're store-bought so they have lots of preservatives but it also call, calls for onion And I'm not going to go over all the ingredients. Like I said, I will link the recipe or put a link down in the description box for the website that I get the recipe from. It's from budgetbites.com. That's one of my favorite websites and I go there once or twice a week and see what else she's got posted. And I try most of her recipes. Like I said, I just now I just kind of wing what I'm gonna add. So I'm gonna put about a half an inch in there. I like to cut up my veggies before I cut up my meat. Of course, you could buy chicken strips you know already cut and then you wouldn't have to cut it up the chicken that I buy I'm buying it at Sam's it's not organic but it is um, no additives I'll show you here in a minute or no antibiotics and so I don't have a lot of locations here for organic but Sometimes when I drive to a nearby town, I can buy organic. And I can sometimes here, but it's really expensive. Okay, so there's my veggies. And I'm going to just cut, cut up the meat. And put it in this bowl. This is what I get at Sam's. It says, raised with no antibiotics, no added hormones or steroids, never fed animal byproducts. It's all natural and cage-free. So, like I said, it's not organic, but I guess I would say it's the next best thing. And normally, I dump the, <laughs> I dump the liquid out before I put it on the cutting board, so I'm going to have some liquid problems, but... Oh well, and I also like to wear a glove on the hand that cuts the chicken 
That way I don't have to keep washing my hands so often. So I'm just going to cut this in strips. And I, I usually cut them in half because I don't want after I get them cut. Because I don't want them that long. I really need to sharpen this knife. It's not wanting to cut through there very well. But I've already started, so I'll remember to do that before I use it next time. Okay, and then I just kind of cut it in half. Like I said, this is super easy. And then it cooks in the oven for after you put it in the put it in the pan. So it's a little bit of prep work, but not a whole lot. Lots of spices, like I said. It's really, really good. And it's tender. So chicken slippery. Okay. So that's all of that. Okay, I'm just going to read off the ingredients that is in this recipe. It uses cornstarch, cumin, or camino, um, onion powder, paprika, chili powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, salt, and sugar. So I'm going to mix this up and I'll bring you back when it's all mixed up. Okay, I got all the ingredients in this bowl, stirred up, and we're ready to assemble and put it in the oven. That is fast. Okay, I usually just put in the veggies. Get me a glove. Put in the chicken. And then you just spread the ingredients, the dry ingredients, over all the chicken and the veggies. And then I just leave it like that. And of course you got to have some oil. I use olive oil and I just kind of drizzle it and then mix it together. You don't really want it dry so like I said I don't really follow the recipe I follow the measurements on the spices but the rest I just kind of make it up as I go so but I just make sure that all the meat and all the veggies are covered real good and that's probably good I mean some of the meat will have its own oils but like I've got some dry spices down here on the bottom so I just kind of get that all worked in and it's ready to go in the oven, just like that. Alright, I'll bring you back when this is done. I'm putting it in the oven. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but I have got... It's not water, and I don't think you can see it, but... It is... When I've got a glove out, I knocked out a bottle of... Walmart all-purpose cleaner. <laughs> and I had put it in the spray bottle and I guess the lid wasn't on it very good and what is really weird and I guess I have the clumsies today but on the way to work see this big bottle of water so I told myself today I was gonna drink that whole bottle of water I get in my car so I started it here at home and I get in my car and I had it in a plastic sack and next thing I know I hear water running and that bottle I laid it laid it down on my seat and that bottle emptied into my floorboard this morning that bottle now just emptied on the floor so I don't know what that is all about but I just think that's just weird I've had two bottle issues today I digress I needed to clean up this mess so, and look, I haven't turned on the oven. 
All right, it is time to... I don't want to get the camera too close to that because it'll steam up the lens, but that is the fajitas coming out of the oven. So that is what it looks like when it's cooked and it is so, the chicken is so tender, the veggies are cooked really good and I'm going to throw it on a tortilla with a little bit of avocado, a slice of avocado and that's what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. So there's the chicken and veggies, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese and I have two avocado slices and just a little bit of sour cream. A little bit of green chili sauce. I think I'm going to put one of these avocados right there. And that's going to be a fajita, chicken fajita burrito. And I know that is going to be wonderful. But that's what's for supper tonight.